Hi, 7 up 7 here, and this is my guide on how to create your own custom Guitar Hero charts uh, that can be used with any of the Guitar Hero games uh, that are customizable uh, using a program called Feedback. It's very easy to make. I'm not like a master at it, but I've created a chart with it, so. Um, and there's not a lot of uh, tutorial videos on how to do it, so just might be a good idea. So, let's open that up. There's a link to it in the description. Um, and it'll bring up, every time you open it, it'll bring up a uh, help menu. So, if there's something I don't mention or whatever that you want to check out on here, because this will be very basic just to get a chart, not to have like a bunch of fancy stuff on it. Um, if there's something that I don't mention, then yeah, just go on here. So hit escape, whoops, hit escape once you get on there, um, and it'll bring you to the chart fretboard, and then hit escape again, and then click new chart. And then you have to have, let me minimize this, you have to go to the folder, make sure that all of these files are together in the folder where your program is, and then go to the songs folder. And that's where you're going to want to put your mp3 and charts. That's where all your stuff is going to be to load up. So, put an mp3 into this. There's mine, right here. This is um, the Kingdom Hearts theme, simple and clean electric guitar version. Uh, there's a one chart on Score Hero, and it sucks, in my personal opinion. No offense to whoever made it, but yeah. So I decided to make my own. It's a very easy chart to make. Um, so yeah, put your mp3 in there, and then select it here. Okay, now you're going to get an empty chart. Uh, there's no notes at all. So in order to go forward on in the time, just hit the up, and then to go back, hit down. Now if you want to uh, move ahead faster hit the left key and you'll see that little step thing in the top left corner the fraction there change so then you see I'm moving, well it's kinda hard to tell, but I'm moving around it faster and then hold it down all the way to the right to go slower and see how slow I'm moving now and that's very useful for when you're trying to get some notes that are very close together I usually keep it at 148 anyway now another thing to help you with time is let's to to start playing the audio track to where you'll be able to hear it while you're uh, placing your notes. You're gonna hit the space bar, and here's my audio track. Okay, you can hear that, but there's no notes. So hit it again to stop it, and then you can back it all the way up and so if you want to play the track slower hit the forward slash button and you'll see that little uh, multiplier come up there just keep hitting it again until uh, 0 0.5 is the lowest and um, let me move it up some so you don't have to get through that slow part okay you can hear hold on there you go and that slows down the audio track so there's three options for that and that's also very 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 useful for uh, placing notes on your fretboard so now for the actual placing notes uh... what you do is to put a green note you hit the one key okay so there's a green note to hit a red oh to delete it you just hit it again to get a red two for yellow, hit 3. For blue, hit 4. For orange, hit 5. It makes perfect sense. And you can put as many in one spot as you want for chords, whatever. And that's how you place individual notes. Now, if you want it to be a long note that's held down, hold down whatever 
number you're pressing so I'm holding down the one key for green and then hit the up arrow and you'll see it'll follow it and hold the note behind it so I need to move up my speed a little so now you see I have this green note that's being held out and you can also do the same for two notes for a chord so that's how you do that and so you can just, you know, for like the fast strings, just do it like that, you know, and you have a fast little string. It's quite, it's quite easy to place notes. So then what you can do is, well, let me tell you one thing. After you place all your notes and you get to the end of the song, if you want to be able to play it on a game, then you're going to have to place an end event. And how you do that is you hit the E key, and that is for all the events. Uh, this is how you, you you have to experiment with this. Um, it's yeah, there's a lot of stuff in it. This is for like really like you know changing like the the crowds sounds and the lighting and it's very complicated stuff. I don't even worry about that. It's you know if you just want like the most custom game possibly imaginable, yeah, go with it. But whatever. So then you're just gonna type in. In. Type in the whole word and then hit enter. And you see down there, right here, it says end. So type that in at the end of your song, and whatever spot you type it in at, that's when the thing will end. And you can just go and select an event, hit enter, and it'll go away if it already exists. So that's all the basic stuff. I don't think there's anything else that I should mention. Um, just hit the escape button and then scroll down the save chart and save it. And it'll uh, save it under the thing. If you want to see my chart real fast, it, I'm not going to save this one because that would screw up the chart I already have. Um, so then if you want to load up a chart, just hit that and then here's my chart. And I still need to tweak it a little, by the way.
and you saw it had in there, but it'll still keep going anyway. Uh, on feedback, it won't on the game. So yeah, just thought you might like to see that. I'll whenever I get that on a game, I'll post a video of it and have the I'll have the link uh, to download this chart in the description of this. I'll put it on like Filefront or something. So uh, yeah, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions about how to do other things or something I didn't explain quite right, whatever it may be, uh, just don't hesitate to ask. Um, just comment or message. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. Look out for other custom, whatever, anything, Guitar Hero, you know. I'm very random about all the Guitar Hero stuff I put up, so yeah, thanks.